It's not just an airplane, it's a Canadian icon. Since its first flight in 1947, the de Havilland Beaver has been the workhorse of the Canadian North, opening up the wilderness, helping to shrink this massive country. Here in Ottawa, you can still experience that too. CTV reporter and pilot Jonathan Rotondo went up for a ride. It's unmistakable. It sounds like a Harley when you start that engine. You've got nine cylinders, 450 horsepower. There's a nice little rumble to it. Let's do it. With pilot and Ottawa native Jason Karras at the controls, we take off from the Ottawa River near Rockcliffe. Uh, we're just going by the Prime Minister's residence here on the left, and you can see Rio Hall in the back. Karras does tours and charters in this historic beaver, built in 1958 and once owned by the Eaton family. It's a rare opportunity to fly Canada's bush plane in Canada's capital. Now you weren't kidding, eh? The sound, the view, yeah. Just sitting in a cockpit that's 50 years old. That's it. No, yep, you're right. It's not just an airplane. The Beaver has a soul. Born out of necessity, designed and built in Canada, it made a vast and treacherous land smaller, more accessible. It was the first plane that really opened up the Canadian North. These are pictures of the first ever flight of the Beaver in August 1947. That very airplane, the prototype, now calls the Canada Aviation Museum home. By the time production stopped in 1967, almost 1,700 were built, and today more than half are still in service. You couldn't make a better folk plane. You know, for a, for a pilot flying it, one single guy, uh, you could go anywhere on skis, wheels, big tires, and of course on amphibs. Awesome. Just awesome. For me, it's one off the bucket list. In eight years of flying, this is my first time in a float plane and it doesn't get any better than a beaver. Okay, Jonathan, you have control. I have control. For a big airplane, it handles well, and in one turn of the prop, I'm hooked. But it's unbelievable, man, unbelievable. Jason takes over for the landing, and our brief flight back in time ends. A little bit of a cross in here, but not too bad. Oh, you can tell you're an old hand. You hardly caught that one. But it's too bad. Not too bad at all like the accomplishments of the beaver and its place in Canadian history. Jonathan Rotondo, CTV News. Nice. If you'd like to learn more about Rideau Air or the beaver airplane, visit our website for web links at ctvottawa.ca.